Fucking they're now pole sitter. We see the lights coming out. Coming on. And it's finally lights out. And finally, we have a race with our hands. We have a race with our hands. As TJD gets a horrible start, drops down many positions right from the start. Mark and Zafso, neck to neck, Zafso overtakes into turn one, but locks up massively and that fight with Joe Boke. As Sini now gets massive overspeed, so he must be on a dry setup. But DM by parking on the apex, not giving Sini too much Sini, and still in P4, Joe Block in P5, small in P6, and Hayden in P7. But crucially for Martin, he kept his to go into the pits. The M guy as well, so the M guy must have some front wing damage, otherwise he wouldn't pit as Sandy back in or tries to overtake Dirt Chocolate. It's gonna be difficult around the outside here. As they make their way through four and five, I want to see what's gonna happen. They go through Oscari coming right now, side by side, I think. Flying wheel. Did he get past Hayden? I think he did. Through the Lesmos. Yeah, he should be a... He's conditions. P7 positions gained, and he's going to try to set around the outside of... Oh, Parabolica. That's going to be a little risky for the biscuit. Oh, he slid. Gets to get the power slide. Oh, that's a drift. He's kept it. Wow. What a save. Tokyo Drift 101 go, awards goes to you. It's like, I've seen them. They're backing off so much. It's fun to get that flat and dry. Oh, and there it is. First driver, DB into the wall. Oh, well, he said a spin. That's the uh, driver there that says 7256, blah, blah, blah. You can see that on the screen. So also, Dirk Chocolate, many drivers are locking up. So um, I don't think a lot of energy went into thinking about reducing the brake pressure, maybe, because it's what I... Evening is how you're going to get some crucial points in the championship. Saps making a run now. I think Saps yeah. got a fantastic exit here in Parabolica. Up P1. I wonder if Turkle actually likes the hushy chocolate. Oh, they've both taken each other. Well, not. It's through the corner, over the bumps. That's going to hurt you back a little bit. Hushy chocolate for Dirk Chocolate. Very much so. <laughs> Husky chocolate. So that scene and the rain still persisting. Dirk Chocolate, Jada Wood, and Max Duke are find it fighting for the last point. In this race, fighting for P10. That's a lift now. This is going to be hold on tight. Slap the brake pedal and see if that car's going to stick. Hastad's it a little bit. Don't turn into a Max Verstappen. Then we don't want to see Halo on Halo action. No. <laughs> well, once again, for a company through the Lesmos. And we've lost somebody going around. I think that's handy. Uh, yes, it is. In the outer Parabolica. But he's got no traffic around him. Should we get up to get on with it? Closest battle, I think, is definitely between the Flying Whale right now and TJD. And Smalley and Driver DNB with the fastest uh, speed traps as as TJD, I think. And Hayden's in here. TJD's just... made an error. Yeah, TJD must have t must have done an error back at him right immediately and overtakes him around the ice outside on the first chicane into the last. Is it going to be an advantage to put some fresh boots on and see the pace difference? It does seem so, but he does pit onto a new set of intermediates. Yeah, they're playing mind games right now because it's about all you can do. This is the closest yeah, that Saf has been, but once again, it's not. As Jim Wong saying, you know, big, so Saf is chilling, Biggles because he's next Martin defending out of Curva Grande, both locking up. Uh, but I just wanted to touch upon that. Mark, we can see on his steering wheel, Lower ERS percentage as Zafso, but now with the fight really starts defending for his life and Zafso really putting the pressure onto Mark. So maybe Zafso knows when it comes to the dry part of the race, he will not be able to defend Mark because of the straight line speed. Maybe it's now time to overtake. Speed here. Oh, this is going to be close oh, for a he, run. Yeah, to, to, to me, he, he used this, you know, Rather wider line as a slingshot to gain more straight line speed on Mark meeting in the pit lane, so not optimal for him. And now we see Safso versus Mark. Mark and cutting down to the inside, leaving Safso on the outside. Tries to go for it. Has a has a tries look. to go for it. Has a has a look, but Mark now compromised on the exit because he has to tighter angle through the chicane. But nothing Safso can really do around Lesmo one and that's mode two as well straight line yeah. speed advantage by three kilometers an hour what do you do yeah. calm collective how could you be calm <laughs> how can he calm how can he be collective and why did safso shift into sixth gear when he was Martin. supposed to shift marking into the pits then 
Yeah, maybe so, this is the tactical advantage of tyres. We'll see. About 47% front left. So, yeah, they're not going to go to the end. Not at least having the traction and grip that you want. Yes, the Martin makes a little bit of an outbreaking manoeuvre and then try to come back at him. I love this action. I love this racing. We knew it was going to be spicy around here. We knew it was going to be uh, tangy. And if, if Very you find close. It. Look at that. You can see him. He's got to have the exit speed. He's done it. Markets resumed the lead of this race just on Saf's side, so the undercut didn't work. They're practically in the same place as they were. Not on the back of Dirk Chocolate, side by side, Dirk Chocolate, down the, the main straight. The inside line will go to Max. Dirk is a little bit wiser on that one to make sure he doesn't lose a front wing. He's got a bit of pressure there from DM Guy in the background. This is a good little squabble. These guys have not boxed yet as well. Limit the damage he has done by losing the front, the front wing. Max Duke, meanwhile, just cuts the chicane. And that, I think, unsaddled the chocolate a little bit. So the young guard goes down the inside into the first last one. This man yeah. on the track right now is P5 of Joke Folk on the fresh boots. And look at this. So that, yeah, go ahead. No, so no, end, it's Hayden's got to really think about tyre management, of course, because, I mean, hey, you can, you can go the whole way, but his tyres are about 70% front left now. Estimation. That oh, is. a little SDM. moment out of the last mode two corner. And Dirk Chocolate re overtakes DM Guy. DM yeah. Guy really suffering on those old tires. Yeah, DM Guy, that's coming out of your salary, it seems. Yeah, we, we shall see. 3.3 now. Yeah. He's still lapping 129, so he's losing about half a second a lap now, Mr. Hayden. But yeah. time's on his side. Time is on his side, and Cruz. Compromises really. exit speed a little bit. But it still has the track position, and that's the key. That's very smart driving from Jack Chocolate. I wouldn't expect anything less, but he's going to be under a bit of pressure right now in Parabolica. Jack has the racing now. line. That's yeah, the key. Yeah, it, it's all, but, but just look at the Shrey line speed of the M guy. Yeah, he might have him here. That's good defending and good offending. And good Protect sport. Hayden. That could be a P1, P2 for a Ferrari in Italy. Wow. That would be the dream of the Tifosi. But remember, um, hey, Martin is still... As a result out that both of these drivers finished P1, P2 without him as an engineer. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if his Ferrari boys finish in P1 and P2, that is going to be one after a sheep party. I can tell you that. So just look at... Oh, my Hayden God. Hayden Gill is really pushing him on the outside. But Hayden Gill is now, look at the straight line speed of the Ferrari using ERS, of course. But that is just Hayden Gill's just... And you can see how much Saf has better exit speeds in the corners. And there's a little bit of wheel tapping, grinding through the first Lesmo. This could get dangerous. Don't touch. That's going to be the key because we've got a couple more laps to go. Hard to overtake, of course. One thing to catch, another thing to overtake. Big lock up from Sydney, not to slap into the back of Hayden. Good driving there. But more buckets, brilliant to see just getting out of everyone's way and you could see Sinny having a look down the inside just just letting Hagen Gillis just know. letting Hagen Gillis know hey I'm there and really putting him under pressure now because he knows Joe Bloke and Smalley are behind Sinny as well Joe Bloke of course with the penalty but still all to fight for on the track Sinny's like okay I'm gonna commit to the outside here trust in the tires Hayden's going to try to cover him off. Joke Bloke's going to be in this party as well. Three of them. We've had these parties before. We had them in Bahrain. There's four. There's also Max. Hayden. Hayden's under big pressure there from Joke Bloke. He's got his essentially lost opponent. He can essentially lose a couple more places here, but he's got to bring it home. Joke's got it. Just bring it home. But Joke Bloke, or it's just, just Joke Bloke. Too yeah. quick. Just look at Joke's got it. It's a breaking. It's trusting the tires, remember. There are seven laps versus 25 laps. I but guess it's a three second time penalty. I, it could also be a five second it's penalty. It's a five, yeah. actually. It is a not. five second penalty. Yeah, yeah. So all Hayden Gillis has to do. Joke Bloke's going to lose that. Max and DM guy behind them also making a little bit of a move. They are going through that turn one. And that is for actual track position. And I think out of that one, it might be DM guy side by side. Yeah, as well on Flying Wheel Well. Sorry to cut you off on that one because, yeah, they've still got a couple more corners to go. We'll see if there's anything done about that one. And you keep an eye on the front there, because I will uh, keep an eye on this battle. I think it might be the front there, because I will uh, keep an eye on this battle. I think it might very be flying real. But there it is. Go over to the man that's going to win this race. So that is the mark at the Temple of Speed in front of the Tifosi, winning for Ferrari with Second Safso. The season. And there it is. Uh, I wouldn't want to get in a boxing ring with you, my friend.
You're just too quick <laughs> and too fast. Congratulations. You are the winner of the Italian Grand Prix.